Well, you're watching Capital Update, and this is a segment called Capital Talk. It's a very pl great pleasure having you here, uh, watching us right here on Capital TV. Now, in the hot seat this, uh, the, on this edition of Capital Talk, I've got someone very special. Now, of course, if I mention the word Maiden, you all know who I'm talking about. Uh, I'm sitting across from me is Dato Haji Amir Ali, who is the managing director of Maiden Muhammad Holdings Brahad, and he's going to be talking to us a little bit about Maiden and uh, what exactly uh, Maiden is planning to do, what their future is. Uh, Dato, thank you so much for taking the time to be with us today. And of fun. course, for those of you that have been following Capital TV, he was also featured on our program called Persona. You know, ah. If you've watched that as well, he was <laughs> featured there. Well, all the same, welcome back. Okay. Uh, now, let's talk a little bit about uh, Maiden. Now, Maiden is a big name. And he mentioned the word Maiden, everyone knows, oh, it's big wholesale prices, great prices, you know, you know, hyper of epic proportions somewhat. But in the 15 years that um, Maiden has, you know, sort of uh, began, I mean, the company has sort of taken over the Malaysian market by storm. Like I said, you know, everyone knows Maiden. But what do you sort of attribute, you know, the quick boom and popularity of Maiden? You know, Maiden actually started 1957, mm -hmm. which is Madeka. Right. Same time as Madeka, right? right? <coughs> but like you correctly said, the last 15 years, suddenly you hear my deed and mm -hmm. it's well known. I think for anything that you do, for that matter, whether it's my or whatever, it takes a lot of time. You must be very patient. Mm -hmm. Very patient. You build up a brand slowly. So when you become a known brand, you are able to deliver what you want to deliver mm -hmm. to your customers. You know? so, so what has happened basically in my day is that we, my father started the business in Kota Baru, right. a small shop, before that was a Pasamalam trader, night trader, opened one small shop, then another shop 20 years later in Kuala Trangano, then I opened the one in uh, Kuala Lumpur, mm -hmm. one small shop, 800 square feet, you know, small right. Raji India there. But slowly, you know, over 10, 15 years, as we build it up, then I think, because we went into the hypermarket business, mm -hmm. now as as customers trend changes, we have to change. Right. Uh, so as customers become more think about we want to go to bigger stores and the hypermarket mm -hmm. came into being. So we we, we, te we we tell ourselves that either we change or you become a dinosaur. Right. Yeah. yeah most mo I think in that case you do you, most of them tend to sort of just fade away. Fade away. Right? And I right. think we know many names. Mm -hmm. uh, they have just faded away because they refuse to go to the new format. Right. And what made that actual change is I was on a flight, 1A to B. I was reading a book. You know, the best time you have is when you're on a plane, mm -hmm. nothing better to do. You read books. Do, exactly, right. Read books, okay? <laughs> right. There's 10 scenes of Cayman. Ah, okay, Cayman. I, mean, I, mean, I, right. I studied in the US. I was a student. Right. I used to shop in Cayman. Cayman is the store to go for people who have who are students, right. don't have that right. much money, go to Kmart because you get value, buy items, yeah, exactly. you get everything in Kmart. Okay. Right. Okay. But as everybody knows, KL went bust. Kmart went actually bust. Mm -hmm. It's come up again now with uh, mm -hmm. you know, different formats, whatever, right. but it actually went bust. So that's 10 scenes of Kmart. And as I was reading that book, those were the 10 scenes that we were actually doing at the moment. Oh, okay. One. So you sort of had an epiphany, so, actually. Oh just my reading, God! Right. It's exactly <coughs> what is happening to us, because once you get things that no, we are okay, we are selling cheap. Come on, mm -hmm. nobody can do better than us. Right. That's your first mistake. Okay, you get complacent. You get complacent. Right, right. You know, we were in town centers. All of our in were always in town centers. Majid India. You go to Kota Baru, it's always next to the bus stop. You go to Kuala Trangan, it's always the next bus stop. You go to Kuantan, it's also next to the bus stop. Okay, okay, because it's town center, because right. that was where the business was. Mm -hmm. But as in the US, business changed many years ago. And here in Malaysia, it's the same thing. People don't go to town. You don't have to go to Majid India nowadays mm -hmm. to buy your Bajum Layu. Right. You can just go to Shah Alam. You know? So you would normally, as time goes on, value your time more. So mm -hmm. you would go to the nearest store you can get. Convenience right. becomes the business. Right. So we started moving is to be better change. Right. So we started our first hypermarket in Subang Jaya, then we went to Malacca, we have you know, now we just opened one in Maruraya. So right. we, we, we changed the format to a bigger format. Mm -hmm. But to ensure in in this business, uh, you can go to the hypermarket business. But remember, not every customer has access to a hypermarket. Yeah, correct. So we have got different formats. Mm -hmm. Hypermarket, 
big, you have your mini big store, well, right? they have your mini yeah. market. Right. With the so-called My <coughs> My Day, mm -hmm. suburban areas, four shop lot, three shop lot. Convenience. People right. just walk in, you want to buy a pack of something, you just walk out. Right. Hypermarket, you walk in, you want to go in for two hours. First, you've got to park. Yeah, of you walk in. Because you're, you're offering a lot more in the hypermarket as of well. Of course. The SKUs like, you know, are massive. Right. So uh, a, a mini market will have maybe 5,000 SKUs. But a hypermarket, like my day, carries about 150,000 SKUs, mm -hmm. stock keeping units, which is right. 150,000 items. So, of course, you have the variety, you have the time, you can spend it. Right. Okay. And so we, also have, yeah. we also have convenience stores, mm -hmm. which is the 24 hours convenience store. So we right. have a few of those around. So okay. So basically, I mean, you, you attribute the success mainly to the slow pro. I mean, it's, uh, I w you wouldn't say it's slow progress, but it was slow and steady sort of wins the race ever since you started in 1957, um, up until, you know, recently, 15 you years ago. You must make your pilings strong. Right. You want to exactly. build a house, Got to make, make the, the pillars are right. right. Okay. Yeah. So basically, looking at that right now, I mean, it's quite a big thing now, Maidin. I mean, you've got your hypermarts, uh, hypermarkets, you've got your uh, mini marts and you've got your importance and your bazaars and now obviously you know you're catering with food and everything else I mean primarily before this you were more into the uh, clothing line correct right I mean just very quickly I mean how did you sort of make the trends it was it also having to do with the fact that you know customers were asking for you know we need to maybe why didn't you sell food at you know uh, wholesale prices or something like that was that some one of the impetus you know, one of actually, an impetus to start um, actually it's mm -hmm. more like meeting the customers needs like you right. said because you have a store, a customer wants to walk in and walk out to get almost everything. Mm -hmm. And we were always in the non-food business. Non-food business. Right. And you see, the non-food business is it's a good business. You've got mm -hmm. better margins. But you have to wait for festive season to ready the business. High Raya, oh, people going by see. it. Chinese New Year, you can buy a new pair well, of clothes you could, again. Then you, then you sort of consider yourself lucky we have so many <laughs> celebrations <laughs> so many of celebrations. sorts. <laughs> of but if you want customer to walk into your store constantly, mm -hmm. And food is something that is very constant. Food is also almost recession proof. Recession that is proof. true, yes. That's the main thing. Yes. Right? Mm -hmm. so, so that's very important. So once you have the food, you have a constant flow of customers, then they buy the so called soft lines. You know? then, then it works together. Right. And, and, and we are also very careful because to ensure that we are in every segment of the market, how you mentioned the My My Day, the, the hypermarket, mm -hmm. we are we, next year. Mm -hmm. We'll be entering into a new segment of market, which is a bit high end. Uh, we Do have a lot of first, yeah. uh, Sam Grocery. Sam Grocery. Sam. S A M. Sam. S A M. Okay. Why Sam? Yeah. Uh, why Sam? Actually. <laughs> why Sam? <laughs> when you think of Sam, you think of that. Oh, Sam, I want you to join the army. <laughs> so I think you know there. Yeah, okay. Well, because <laughs> I, actually, uh, yeah. you're, you're right. Because Sam is a very simple, basic name, easy to remember. So branding is very important. Right. Brand, but Sam also stands for Sire Anak Malaysia. Oh, okay. The yeah. acronym, okay. You know, it's right. just an acronym. Saya anak Malaysia, but it's Sam. You know, it can mean so many other things to different people. And there's always a story behind everything. Right. Okay, but I think the more important thing is it must be easy. And I think Malaysians like that kind of names to you to get a different branding. Right, right. You know, if I say uh, Maidin, they say, oh yeah, I go to Maidin all the time. So what's the difference here? So mm. a different brand because to cater to a different segment of the market. Okay. The goods will be of different range, there will be more important items, more high range items you know, to cater for that customer. So our first outlet uh, should be open next year. Okay. Uh, it and should be NU Central. NU Central. Uh, at KL Central. Right, at KL Central. So we have right. a lot of uh, uh, good population. I mean, it's, it's almost oh, a town. I mean, yeah, everybody yeah. merges around. Yeah, merges around KL uh, Central the, the all the time. LRT, yeah. LRT the monorail, <laughs> right. so everything goes everything through there. Everything all just goes through there. Right. Exactly. And they have a lot of condominium to cater for, for customers there. Right. So actually, you already have a ready population. Just like 